Harry Lankett, a 15-year-old boy in 1980s, receives a priceless gift for his birthday by his loving father, which soon turns out to be an unfinished cursed game which releases evil and misery. Hi folks, I'm R and welcome to Kane, a game which is about a game of why you shouldn't play overpriced games, which could be hunted and end your life in one way or another. That being bad financial decisions leading to poverty or downright really sink vengeful ghosts. Keep in mind that this video will have spoilers as always. And with that said, let's begin. Before we start, a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes available for people who want to pick up new skills or improve upon them. If you have been meaning to improve your skills or pick a new one, Skillshare has got you covered. There are hundreds of different classes ranging from drawing, writing, to music, web development, and much more. Something that I do pretty much every day and really enjoy doing is writing scripts, which I want to improve on consistently. Storytelling 101, Character, Conflict, Context, and Craft by Daniel Jose Older is one of the best classes I have found which breaks down writing techniques in a concise manner. His lessons about character and conflict provide important information on why conflict is necessary to make the story more engaging, making the characters more relevant to the watchers so they can weather root for them or against them. If you want to pick a new skill or improve any that you already have, check out Skillshare by clicking on the link in the description below. For the first 1000 people who do, get one month free trial. TKE Games, a well-known company developing games, suffers a tragedy where a massacre leads to the death of 46 game developers. Due to this tragedy, on 21st of November 1989, the company goes bankrupt, selling all of their assets to recoup as much money as possible. The latest game known as Kane, which was left unfinished in the development phase, goes on auction, which gets sold for a whopping $140,000 to a businessman called James Linkett. Other than making bad financial decisions, James loves his son very much, who is a gamer and enjoys playing a variety of games, who gives his son a special gift, a game that was due to be released by the TKE Games, but never did, with only one person in the world able to play it, being no one than James's son, Harry Linkett. Harry, having had just turned 15, becomes ecstatic with this gift, a gift that is worth $140,000, an astounding value which would translate to $334,000 in 2022 with an average of 2.67% annual inflation. One night, when Harry is alone in his bedroom, he places the cartridge in his gaming console and starts playing, not knowing what doomed fate awaits him. The game character Kane is seen on the logo holding hands with a female entity. Pressing start, the game displays several texts as if directly speaking to Harry, asking if he could be her Kane. Harry dismisses this as the story of the game, with Kane being the hero who is there to save her. But the question remains, would he do it or just run away through different doors? Being immersed in this platformer game, it suddenly starts glitching with Kane being shown to be bloodied with blood on his hands. The texts then are shown again referring to Harry as her Kane, begging him not to leave her alone again. The texts then reveal that she is alone with her surroundings being dark and cold, begging Harry who she refers to as Kane to stay with her and make her feel comfortable. This could maybe indicate that she is the ghost of one of the many developers who faced the tragic end, being killed in a bloody massacre. Busy playing the game, Harry starts to hear strange sounds coming from inside his bedroom, which do not make any sense. Sounds that seem to come from someone walking around or touching the furniture. Being clearly scared but dismissing the sounds as if he's imagining them or that they are normal sounds of furniture cracks, he continues on his game which glitches yet again with images of real people appearing for a short period when the texts appear again asking Kane why he left her alone, disliking to be alone and as a result hating Kane for leaving her. 
More strange occurrences happen again, with a pair of glowing eyes appearing when the game glitches once more, with the texts yet again asking for Kane and how horrible it is being alone in the dark. As if the ghost is one of the developers that has been trapped inside the game, all alone in a dark void which she cannot escape with the only way of communicating being her ability to write texts on the screen. As the game glitches yet again, a representation of Kane is shown, this time holding the hand of a ghost-like representation of his counterpart, the person who seems to be trapped all alone in the darkness. The texts start to become more hostile, saying how much she hates Kane repeatedly and relentlessly. As Harry is a hardcore gamer with nothing shaking his passion of completing a game, the only thing that could cause him distraction happens, with the game glitching, with the texts repeatedly uttering the word die. That's when the game fully crashes, with a glitching entity appearing inside Harry's room. This entity glitches in a similar manner to how the game glitched, displaying as if the vengeful entity trapped in the game managed to find a way out into the real world, hunting Harry. As Harry is still sitting around, not screaming or running for his life for some reason, the entity glitches in and out of reality, finally appearing right before Harry, where she spreads her wings, repeating the same word, die, over and over again, with Harry collapsing and soon losing his consciousness. A newspaper clipping soon reveals his doomed fate, with Harry going missing right after this encounter. His parents, James and the mother, seem to have been in the house when all of this happened, as Harry is reported to have been last seen in his bedroom, which means his parents must have observed him going there before vanishing in thin air. Despite the many sounds heard by Harry, the parents seem to have been clueless, which means only Harry was able to hear them, making it seem as if whoever played the game became specifically hunted by the vengeful ghost looking for Cain, presumably the partner of the deceased person whose soul is trapped in the game, the partner who seems to have left there all alone while the massacre took place filling her with rage and terror of why Kane left her instead of accompanying her and keeping her calm, making her feel protected. As the game was left underdeveloped, with Harry being the very first person to try it, he specifically was targeted, with the ghost thinking that he is her partner. As the game was under development during the massacre, it seems that the ghost of one of the developers transformed into the game. It seems that the ghost of one of the developers teleported into the game and became trapped until Harry played it. The exact story of Kane and his partner is not revealed, but through telltale signs, such as the representation of the ghost and Kane holding hands, Kane running through platforms, escaping knife attacks and bullets, running through doors to doors, seem to indicate that Kane was a developer who had a romantic relationship with one of the developers, whom he left all alone when the killer started the massacre. Kane seems to have been a coward, leaving her all alone, making her become the vengeful ghost that she is now. That is why blood was seen on him and on his hands, depicting that his cowardness caused one of the developers die, leading to her becoming a ghost, trapped in the game. Her transition from someone who loved Kane to someone who became afraid and alone, and subsequently someone who hates Kane reveals how she had a romantic relationship with him, wanting him by her side, but as she is left alone, in the darkness, she starts hating Kane for abandoning her. There aren't many signs to whether Kane had a hand in the massacre or not, with him most likely being just a survivor from the massacre, someone who left a once alive person, now trapped in the game, which enraged her. The vengeful ghost hating Kane, thinking the player who is in a way communicating with her is Kane, she comes out of the game and attacks Harry, making him disappear. It's likely that not only the soul of Harry was kidnapped, but also his buddy, as the parents couldn't find him and reported him to be missing. In another theory, which could be very plausible as well, the entity could also be a representation of a demon who actually possessed Kane, forcing him to cause the massacre in the TKE game studio. Now, after playing the game, the demonic being targeted Harry, possessing him, hence why his buddy disappeared. 
the entity kept repeating that she's in the dark and lonely, wanting her cane, who is a biblical character, being one of the original sinners committing murder. Therefore, this entity could be the devil, as seen through her dark wings spreading, who is looking for another cane, asking Carrie to be her next cane. In other words, a vessel to commit the atrocities that she wants to. And that's it for the end of this video, folks. If you enjoyed it, you can stay tuned for more by hitting on the subscribe button and the notification bell. You can also DM me or tag me on Twitter with your game requests. It's been your host, R. Until the next time, have a fantastic day.